Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, late last week, Microsoft rolled out a brand new Insider Preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders. So, just a quick overview as to what's new in the Dev Channel for last week. Now, the build is upgraded to 26,200.5516 after the update has been installed. And the first couple of new features are already starting to roll out to Copilot Plus PCs in the stable version of Windows 11, but just for the purpose of this video. Now, Microsoft says that it's improved Windows Search for AMD and Intel-powered Copilot Plus PCs by introducing semantic indexing along with traditional indexing. So whether it's searching in the File Explorer, in the Windows Search box on your taskbar, or in the settings, you just type what's on your mind to find it on your Copilot Plus PC. And they also mention that you no longer need to remember file names, exact words in file content or settings names. And these improvements, Microsoft says, work even when you're not connected to the internet. And they're also announcing support for also finding photos saved in the cloud with improved Windows Search, once again, for AMD and Intel-powered Copilot Plus PCs. So you just use your own words to find photos stored and saved in the cloud by describing what they are about. In the search box, at the top right corner of the File Explorer, or also in the Windows search box, and in addition to photos stored locally on your Copilot Plus PC, Microsoft said, says that photos from the cloud will now show up in the search results together. In addition to searching for photos, exact matches for your keywords within the text of your cloud files will show in the search results. So those couple of new features in the Dev Channel are already making their way into the stable version of Windows 11. And then heading to something else where they are introducing speech recap in Narrator, which is designed to help you keep track of what Narrator has spoken and access it for quick reference. With Speech Recap, Microsoft says you can quickly access spoken content, follow along with live transcription, and copy what narrator last said, or with simple keyboard shortcuts. So they mentioned you can open the Speech Recap window with narrator key and alt and X, and can find the last 500 strings narrator had spoken. And just take note, Microsoft says that it refreshes the text in this window every time narrator starts. And you can use standard reading commands and arrow keys to read the contents in each recap window and copy text required for reference. And over and above that, in regards to the live transcription, Microsoft says to see live transcription of narrator audio, use the same command, narrator key, alt and X, to open the speech recap window and snap it to the portion of the screen you want to view it. As you do tasks, you can also see real-time transcriptions of narrator speech. And what we're looking at here is narrator speech's recap window snapped to the right corner of the screen showing real-time transcriptions. And then something else that's made its way into the Insider program is Microsoft says that it's previewing a new, more streamlined UI for unexpected restarts, which better aligns with Windows 11 design principles and supports its goal of getting users back into productivity as fast as possible. So Microsoft says um, they've simplified the UI while preserving the technical information on the screen. And then I mentioned that for Windows Insiders, this appears as a green screen. And this is beginning to roll out to Insiders on Windows 11 version 24H2 and higher in the beta dev and canary channel. So basically it's across the board. and as you may well know, this screen in the stable version is the kind of Microsoft pale blue. And then over and above uh, those new features, there are a couple of changes according to Microsoft for Copilot. I'm just going to mention these. Microsoft says you can now launch Copilot on Windows with Win and C. And you can personalize your Copilot key with Win and C at any time with the existing customized Copilot key on keyboard under settings, personalization, text input. And then there's another change called press to talk, where Microsoft says to access the press to talk feature and start a conversation with Copilot on Windows, you press and hold the Copilot key for two seconds. And for PCs without the Copilot key, you press 
and hold Win and C for two seconds. And to end your conversation, you press the Escape key. And just take note, Microsoft says that Win and C and Press to Talk are gradually rolling out, so not all insiders will get the update right away. And in regards to Win and C, I have posted a video on that, and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. And the next change is also for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft says on your Copilot Plus PC, you can now access Click to Do from the Start menu including the ability to pin it to start and your taskbar and just take note though that click to do is currently available in preview for windows insiders on windows 11 version 24h2 in the dev and beta channels only on copilot plus pcs and over and above that microsoft mentions that click to do can now perform intelligent text actions in spanish and french in addition on and over and above that, Microsoft says that Click to Do can now perform intelligent text actions in Spanish and French in addition to English. And once again, Microsoft is focusing on Windows Share, with Microsoft saying that when you share links or web content using the Windows Share window, you will see a visual preview of that content, as in the image provided. And something else, they say that um, it's adding the ability to quickly edit and enhance images while sharing. This includes inline image editing capabilities such as cropping, rotating and applying filters as well as the ability to compress images to reduce file size for easier sharing and I've also posted on that. So if you want more information go check that video out. I'll leave it linked down below in the end screen. And Microsoft says this ability works only for local images stored on your PC. And the next change, I think, may make a lot of users unhappy. And I'm actually going to post a whole video on this, um, but I'm just going to mention it for the purpose of this video. Microsoft says it's removing the bypass nro.cmd script from the build to enhance security and user experience of Windows 11. This change ensures that all users exit setup with internet connectivity and a Microsoft account. So obviously Microsoft really wanting you to set up Windows 11 using a Microsoft account. And that's the bypass um, command that was used by a lot of users. And as mentioned, I will be posting a whole video on that with a workaround as well. So check out for that. And then over and above those new features, changes and improvements in the dev channel, there are fixes. And then of course we get um, known issues because obviously it's still quite early days in the dev channel and Microsoft still has to iron out quite a couple of those known issues. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.